Okay, bear with me here. I've been down with the flu for uh, a couple of days, so if I'm not completely coherent, that's why. Uh, so excuse me for any inaccuracies or uh, incoherencies that, that may follow. I'm going to do a quick walk around here <clears throat> of the uh, BMW 640i Grand Coupe sedan. Uh, this is BMW's competitor for the Mercedes CLS 550 and also uh, the Porsche Panamera. Uh, all those cars uh, are uh, similar in concept in that uh, they uh, attempt to uh, incorporate some of the style and flash uh, of a coupe, including the, the low roof line uh, uh, <coughs> and overall sporty demeanor, uh, with the, the practicality of the back seat and the ability to carry more passengers. Now, unlike most sedans, uh, well, you'll see this is a, a four seat sedan, not a five seat sedan. Uh, and the, seat, the, the back seat here is a little bit tight, uh, but it has actually about two inches more uh, uh, backseat legroom than uh, both the Panamera and the Benz CLS uh, 550. But as you can see, the, the center console extends uh, far enough back that there's virtually no way that you could put a third person back here. I guess you could put a child seat in the center, but this is essentially a, a four-seater, and uh, really, uh, you don't want to put too many adults. Adults probably wouldn't be too happy to be back there. Um, the overall layout is similar to the 6 Series Coupe. Uh, the engine lineup is also pretty much the same. Uh, the base engine in this car is the turbo 3 liter 6 uh, <coughs> uh, at 315 horsepower with the optional turbocharged 4.4 V8 at 444 horsepower. I can't remember. I'm all addled with the flu. I cannot remember. But uh, <coughs> It is actually comparable to the, the Porsche Panamera in terms of power and performance, base and optional engines. The real problem for BMW is that the Benz CLS uh, 550 comes standard uh, with uh, a twin turbo V8 and 402 horsepower and gets to 60 uh, a full second sooner than this car does. Uh, and it starts $5,500 less, which is remarkable because usually Mercedes cars are uh, the, the price leaders in any given segment. So uh, something that's changed in terms of market dynamics is that uh, Mercedes is no longer necessarily the most expensive vehicle in any, in any given segment. Um, this is a good-looking car, though, uh, and while it's not as practical as a 5-series sedan um, or a 7-series sedan, uh, it does make it viable, um, more viable than, than, being in, than having a, a two-door 6-series um, coupe. Uh, but the price premium is really significant. Uh, the base price on this car is seventy-seven something thousand dollars, and if you order a few options, including the uh, the step-up V8 and the all-wheel drive system, you can definitely get up to a hundred thousand dollars, which is a lot of money. Um, anyway, uh, the rest of the review will be up at epautos.com, and hopefully, I'll still be kicking next week, and uh, we'll catch up with you next time.